The Shiloh inscription or Silwan inscription is a passage of inscribed text found in the Siloam Tunnel which brings water from the Gifon Spring to the Pool of Siloam, located in the city of David in East Jerusalem neighborhood of Shiloh or Silwan. The inscription records the construction of the tunnel, which has been dated to the 8th century BCE on the basis of the writing style. It is the only known ancient inscription from the wider region which commemorates a public construction work. Despite such inscriptions being commonplace in Egyptian and Mesopotamian archaeology, it is among the oldest extant records of its kind written in Hebrew using the Paleo-Hebrew alphabet, a regional variant of the Phoenician alphabet. Its association with the tunnel has been interpreted to provide evidence for the ancient biblical narrative. The inscription is at permanent exhibition at the Istanbul Archaeology Museum. History The tunnel was discovered in 1838 by Edward Robinson. Despite the tunnel being examined extensively during the 19th century by Robinson, Charles Wilson, and Charles Warren, they all missed discovering the inscription, probably due to the accumulated mineral deposits making it barely noticeable. According to Easton's Bible Dictionary, in 1888 a youth wading up the tunnel from the Siloam Pool End discovered the inscription cut in the rock on the eastern side. About 19 feet into the tunnel, the inscription was surreptitiously cut from the wall of the tunnel in 1891 and broken into fragments which were recovered through the efforts of the British Consul in and placed in the Istanbul Archaeology Museum. The ancient city of Jerusalem, being on a mountain, was naturally defensible from almost all sides but its major source of fresh water, the Gifon Spring, was on the side of the cliff overlooking the Kidron Valley. The Bible records that King Hezekiah, fearful that the Assyrians would lay siege to the city, blocked the spring's water outside the city and diverted it through a channel into the pool of Siloam. Translation As the inscription was unreadable at first due to the deposits, Professor Archibald Sais was the first to make a tentative reading, and later the text was cleaned with an acid solution making the reading more legible. The inscription contains six lines, of which the first is damaged. The words are separated by dots. Only the word Zada on the third line is of doubtful translation, perhaps a crack or a weak part. The passage reads, The tunnel, and this is the story of the tunnel while the axes were against each other and while three cubits were left to cut. The voice of a man called to his counterpart, there was Zada in the rock on the right. And on the day of the tunnel the stone cut is struck each man towards his counterpart. Axe against axe and flowed water from the source to the pool for 1,200 cubits, and 100 cubits was the height over the head of the stone cutters. The inscription hence records the construction of the tunnel. According to the text the work began at both ends simultaneously and proceeded until the stone cutters met in the middle. However, the idealized account does not quite reflect the reality of the tunnel, where the two sides meet as an abrupt right-angled join, and the centers do not line up. It has been theorized that Hezekiah's engineers depended on acoustic sounding to guide the tunnelers and this is supported by the explicit use of this technique as described in the Siloam inscription. The frequently ignored final sentence of this inscription provides further evidence and the height of the rock above the heads of the laborers was 100 cubits. This indicates that the engineers were well aware of the distance to the surface above the tunnel at various points in its progression. While traditionally identified as a commemorative inscription, one archaeologist has suggested that it may be a votive offering inscription. A diagram of a transcription of the Paleo-Hebrew of the inscription is available at this link possible exhibition in Israel. In 2007, Jerusalem Mayor Urilu Polyansky met with Turkey's ambassador to Israel, Namik Tan, and requested that the tablet be returned to Jerusalem as a goodwill gesture. Turkey rejected the request, stating that the Siloam inscription was imperial Ottoman property, and thus the cultural property of the Turkish Republic. 
President Abdullah Gül said that Turkey would arrange for the inscription to be shown in Jerusalem for a short period. Bibliography Konrad Schick, Phoenician Inscription in the Pool of Siloam, Palestine Exploration Fund Quarterly Statement, 1880, pp. 238-39. Archibald says, The Inscription at the Pool of Siloam, Palestine Exploration Fund Quarterly Statement 13.2. 69 to 73, the ancient Hebrew inscription discovered at the Pool of Siloam in Jerusalem, Palestine Exploration Fund Quarterly Statement 13.3, 141 to 154. H. B. Waterman, The Siloam Inscription, The Hebrew Student, Volume 1, No. 3, pp. 5253, published by the University of Chicago Press. Archibald says, Claude Rainier Comder, Isaac Taylor, Samuel Beswick and Henry Sully. The ancient Hebrew inscription discovered at the Pool of Siloam, Palestine Exploration Fund Quarterly Statement 13.4. 282-297. Claude Rainier Comder, The Siloam Tunnel, Palestine Exploration Fund Quarterly Statement, 1882, pp. 122-31. Hermann Guther, Das Schicksal der Silo in Schrift, ZDPV, 1890. E. Pooch, Inscription de Tunnel de Siloe, RB 81, 1974, pp. 190. 96 to 214. Lemcher, Niels Peter, The Israelites in History and Tradition, Westminster John Knox Press.